Hello, happy sketching! Why do we work with crossing lines? Crossing lines help to visually narrow down the correct form. Again, I have here the sketch of the Rembrandt's rider. We have already sketched it in the second rule with the bundle of strokes. If the lines run in bundles, they should not run parallel because parallel lines capture an object in its form. They paralyze. Yes, they paralyze literally. So what is it? intersecting line. We have here line intersections. We have it here. We have it here, 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 or even here. Or we have many intersection crossing lines here in the form of the head. But how do you guide the lines in bundles? Well, this is actually very simple. The individual lines in the bundle will and should even cross each other. But what is it about? The intersecting lines, crossing lines, condense the form. This means that the lines should always cross where the form is best. This is perhaps not a rational process during sketching. We have long since been trained for the crosses. In geometry, the cross says, here, here is the point, the right one. This is a visual convention. With the crossing line, the form is made more precise during the process of creation. Through the crossing, a fixed reference point is given, which guides the eye. In this way, the viewer is given concise information from two or more discrete, precise information. This third rule can thus be applied at the point of the sketch's creation process, when we slowly approach the end wondering if we can recognize and understand what is here, a rider. Then deliberately placed lines that across with another approximately set line at the best point, they can be a great precision. Happy sketching!